Hello and welcome to AFL.com.au's daily news wrap for Friday the 27th of July. There's plenty happening around the country today, but we'll start here at Melbourne Airport where the Magpies have just prepared to fly north to Sydney ahead of tomorrow's clash with the Giants at Skoda Stadium. Now yesterday, Giants coach Kevin Sheedy was up to his old tricks and had a few interesting comments to say about Collingwood forward Travis Cloak, who has put contract talks off until the end of the season. Collingwood coach Nathan Buckley today wouldn't comment on those quotes or he wouldn't get involved in any of the discussion, but he did have a message for Collingwood supporters who aren't too happy with Cloak and the club's decision to delay tr- talks until the end of the season. Well, Trav's one of us. He's um, he's one of, uh, one of our players that is absolutely focused on getting um, to playing our best football and giving ourselves the best chance of success in 2012. Um, He's one of us, and all of us are focused on that. And if you're not supporting us in that in that end, well, then you're not one of us. Are you locking his door tonight to stop Sheets from <laughs> getting in there? Oh, Sheets can worry about it next year. We'll just worry about the game tomorrow. Melbourne has also been linked to Cloak, but today Mark Neal denied the D's had tabled an offer. Oh, no. No, I don't. No, that mean no, 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 no. No, we haven't made that call. But amid all the speculation, AFL.com.au's Lee Matthews certainly had no sympathy for the Magpies. What comes around goes around. Whenever we were trying to re-sign Jonathan Brown at the Lions in 2005, then 2008, Collingwood, they were the free mantle of the time. They had the big offer on the table. They were saying to Jonathan Brown, you come back to Melbourne, you'll earn one and a half million. Carlton will go into tomorrow night's clash against Richmond knowing a loss could end its season, but the Blues are confident they're ready for the challenge. It's a huge game uh, for both clubs, but we, we're, we're very much about making sure we play in the manner that we, we believe is going to hold us in good stead no matter where the season ends up. This game doesn't allow you to not to feel pressure. Um, if, you, if you can't handle pressure, then you're in the wrong game. Uh, uh, coaching right through to playing. Um, we, we know there's enormous pressure no matter what stage of the year, whether you're where we are or whether you're at the top of the ladder. Um, so it's, it's how you deal with it. Mark Murphy missed the soggy session at Busy Park, but Williams was adamant the vice-captain would play. Melbourne also braved the elements this morning as it prepared for tomorrow's clash with the Kangaroos, which will see former captain Brad Green chalk up his 250th game. An amazing achievement. Now I think 250 games, there's going to be too many more people uh, play that just with the demands of the game. Um, I think it's only the eighth person at our footy club to do so. So Jared Rivers got up this morning and uh, spoke about Brad to the whole group and it was outstanding just to be in the room. Liam Jarrah was a no-show having just returned from his preliminary hearing in Alice Springs for assault, but the club is hopeful he'll play in the VFL next weekend. Uh, He seems really good. Um, You know, that that initial hearing is now done and dusted and we know, everyone knows what what Liam's got in store for him there. Um, And as has been, you know, well said, the club will provide as much support as we possibly can for Liam and and, you know, we just need Liam, from a football point of view, to, to come back the other way and, and show us, you know, commitment to his training program and, and get out there and start playing footy again. North Melbourne has been buoyed by the news that skipper Andrew Swallow has extended his contract with the club until the end of the 2015 season. I suppose I was a bit surprised to, um, you know, I was still in contract for another year, but, yeah, always nice to, to have a bit of security and... Yeah, I couldn't imagine being anywhere um, else than this, you know, having a, a brand new facility to be in, um, you know, a, a great coach to be under. Um, you know, I'm really excited to be here and, and I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. The Bulldogs have also been busy re-signing Ace Cordy and Jordan Roughhead for a further three seasons, while mature age recruit Tory Dixon has inked a two-year deal. Didn't hold back, winds onto the left, how about that? And power youngster Jasper Pittard has finally arrived back in Adelaide by train after a stint in a Darwin hospital recovering from the fractured ribs he sustained in Portswin over Melbourne. Yeah, he's, uh, he's seen all the sights of the, uh, the central corridor of Australia and uh, he certainly pumped up his, uh, his free trip with the, uh, on the rail. But um, yeah, he gets back, I think he's back today at some stage and uh, you'll see a surgeon and uh, hopefully the, the lung will fix itself up pretty well. And um, not quite sure, two to three weeks we're hoping uh, we can get him back in the team. And that's what's making news today on afl.com.au. Keep clicking back to the website over the weekend for all the news on a big round 18, starting with tonight's clash between Essendon and Hawthorne at Etihad Stadium. Have a great weekend.